Hey, peace. What's up, man? Pistons fans, uh, uh, it's your boy No man. I just come from having a heart attack. Uh, that was like the longest two minutes, then turned into the longest 20 seconds, then to the longest seven seconds, then like the longest, like what, six seconds, then the longest two seconds of the goddamn game. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, that, the Pistons go ahead and win this one 104 to 102 uh, against the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, Mrs. Memphis Grizzly Bears, man. Uh, Blake Griffin, debut. He had nine points in the first quarter. Uh, from Correa and one block. Uh, dude finished tonight with 24 points, 10 reeves, five assists, and I think maybe a couple of blocks. <coughs> well, not a bad debut, I should say. Drummond had a 15-15 game tonight. Uh, so there's two. Players right now with double doubles. Uh, Dwight, uh, I mean not Dwight Bus, but uh, Blake Griffin is the first Piston to have a debut in his game and get a, uh, a double double since I believe Grant Hill started for. So it's roughly funny Pistons. Uh, a lot of people felt though when Blake Griffin is on the bench, man, they feel like the offense is kind of sputtering and we couldn't really get much going, which probably was true. But uh, Stanley had a decent game, man, today. He had another, he didn't have, of course, no idea he did the other day, but he had another 14-point game for, he. I think he played the longest minutes. He played probably like 36 minutes or something of the game, at least over 30 minutes, I know for a fact. Uh, yeah, man, uh, you could tell it was a very subtle game for Blake Griffin, but it was a very effective one for him being in there. Uh, Tolliver winning that uh Final few seconds of the game, man. Tolliver winning that, man. He won that uh, toss, toss up. That was big, man. Uh, and them free throws he made too by Tolliver. That was key, man. Uh, he didn't have many points today, but he made the, as far as I'm concerned, at the end of the game, he made the most important ones to win us the game. And uh, you know, it, it just is what it is, man. So, you know, it was just a, it was really an average game. A game Pistons looked like they probably would have lost if they didn't have Blake Griffin. And to me, this maybe wrong mentality but you know things change up man because now you got a new guy so you got to work him in the system i don't want people saying like you know oh it's a bad trade he didn't do all that well we could have had tobias harris do that no 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 understand this even if they would have performed better with tobias harris tonight than blake griffin it's a different scenario man you got a new guy you try to work him into the system so you know you're not gonna really have him come in and have 40 off the rip and this and that and other he, he outscored what i say he was gonna get i say he would get about 18 points we got 24. Uh, so they're just trying to find. Now they got to grow a rhythm. They still need a point guard, evidently. Uh, they're still struggling at that apartment. Some people said another small forward in shooting guard. So we'll see in due time. Uh, the Pistons, st- yeah, they can still need to use another point guard. Man. It's just not a starter. He had a n- nice game the other day. And he had a nice, decent game today. But, uh, yeah, he's not a starter, man. We need someone who can shoot threes. That would help Blake Griffin out a lot, having a point guard. But you can see where he improves the team uh, as a sort of somebody in the paint, making those odd shots that we probably was, would have missed a lot of situations. And we drum it. So once these two get to jail together, you know, it's, I think they'll be on fire. I know people was hoping that they could got, have a firestorm of a day between these two. It was a good game uh, between them, man. The Gri- Grizzlies hung in there, though, man. They came with some fire, man. Pistons did start off a little sputterish, though, man. They messed up some drives, some bullcrap fouls, I think, got called early in the first quarter. Uh, but I think once these two get it together and kind of gain some mesh, kind of, I think we'll see a much performing better Piston team, man. Uh, I can tell, man, they are happy to have him. The fans, I think, rumor has a Tom Gores is throwing shirts into the crowd uh, during a, a commercial break or something like that, I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, but man, y'all leave in the comment section, man, what y'all think about the game. I didn't quite see it. I think I should let that know, but I did follow the game as much as I could. Uh, what I could see off highlights and everything else, I followed it as much as I could get. And I kept myself updated as much as possible, man. But, you know, uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about, uh, the game entirely. I know it was a close, I know it was kind of a heart throbbing one, but they pissing the wins and win. Better than we, better than win than lose. You know, so, uh, what y'all think, man? Leave in the comment section. Welcome Blake Griffin Griffin again, man. I think this is going to be big. Just need to get another point guard. Need to get Reggie back healthy as well. I think the Pistons will be rolling soon, man. So, keep supporting your team. Don't throw them in the, back in the garbage because they didn't have a stellar, stellar performance in your mind. 
And if you're still hating on this trade, then go kick a rock and eat it. But it's your boy, no man. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video if you want to. Salute to y'all, man. DV, peace.